Hello everyone and welcome back to Nano Reno 2015 EVN Bingo only on vnsnail.com only here where you get this kind of insane coverage of a non-competitive event in the EVN community. My name is JP the Third. I run this illustrious website. And today we are playing Chrysanthemum T. After the first game we played for EVN Bingo. Anything is a step up, and hopefully this will at least be entertaining, if not outright good. But I will take a very entertaining bet at this point. But what is Chrysanthemum Tea? Excuse me. Theo lives a rather average life at college. Now, this is the thread on Limasoft, the synopsis thread. He might be spending late hours at a bar trying to painstakingly save up money to pay off his college fees and bills, and spends the rest of his time at home studying to at least pass his classes which is pretty normal. He also might have cut off all contact with his parents, but hey, who doesn't have problems? That's how Theo's life has always been ever since he started college. He's been satisfied with how he is. He's been satisfied with how he is, even though his attitude and his way of handling problems earn a few disapproving looks from his best friend. However, Theo might start to reconsider that when he meets a strange young girl at a dusty fortune shop which is, I'm assuming, the girl in the hood here. So, according to the forum thread, this thing is going to run at least an hour and a half. There are three different endings. Don't know if I'll be doing all the endings for you guys, but we will definitely do one solid playthrough. And no other... It doesn't say romance or anything, but... Well, it's slice of life and friendship, so we may be able to knock that off the old chopping block. But we'll see which way this one goes. Let's get started. When I first went there, I saw a beautiful garden. In that garden were many pretty flowers. In the day, the many shades of yellow, purple, red were soothed me. But in the night, I could barely see any of those vivid colors. I could have spent the whole day there, but it was a busy night. The usual group of teenagers come into the bar to have a drink or two. Sometimes a lot more than that. Same blaring music in my ears and the same flashing lights as I saw people turn wild here. It was like hell. It was. I know what they're trying to go through. It's kind of like a stream of conscious kind of thing. I know that's what they're going for. But it gets a little, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit. Yet, I chose to work here. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was because I was desperate for a job. I knew I would have had a better enough reason to decide to work here. I just couldn't recall it. Either way, I couldn't imagine not working here. There's something that I enjoyed about con concocting? Pretty sure that's supposed to be concocting. Concocting and serving the cocktails. My night was usually occupied by working as a bartender here. Tonight, however, things went a little different. If it just looks like the kind of wild and crazy club those rambunctious young ones come to. Thank God everyone is gone now. Hopefully nobody will come back soon. Excuse me? Spoke too soon. Good evening. How may I serve... Uh, yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. I took another look at the clothed figure who asked me the question. She looks like Red Riding Hood. This is, who wears a hood like that at night? Who asked me the question? Her cloak and dress made her stand out. Her voice, however, seemed to contradict her appearance. The stranger asked me the question in a deep voice. It seemed to force. Sorry about that. How may I serve you? Do you sell gin? I swore I just ring at the end of, the per of this person's voice. Isn't this person too young to drink gin anyway? Well, yes, but... But? Why are you faking a male voice? What do you mean, faking? I'm not faking at all. You sound like you're faking it. Why would you care if I'm faking or not? I just want some gin. Yeah, it's probably best not to insult the paying customers any more than you've already have, Theo. Do you have ID? Here. The club figure flashed the ID quickly before hiding it. Uh, whatever. I'll get you. I'll get your drink. Okay, and I just committed a crime. That is not good enough to be legal. You have to actually show the full ID. But I don't care whether this girl was carrying a fake ID. 
I know, and, and I know I make editing mistakes, but this is going to be a drive. I can already tell. I don't care whether this girl was carrying a, a fake ID. I just wanted to get her dealt with. The clothes girl passed me the money for the gin, and I went off to work on a drink. I can understand why somebody would lie about their age just to get a drink, but I don't understand why somebody would fake their gender. There is a difference. How is she faking her gender? No, 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 hold on. Hide the, hide the thing. This is cl a clearly feminine outfit. Her breasts are very well outlined. It's, she's not faking her gender. It's very obvious that she's female. Oh, what, what the hell? There's a difference. Finally, she gave up that annoying, annoying fake voice. She had a rather sweet voice. No wonder it was difficult for her to fake a male voice. Like, I've even seen ladies passed out over here. It's not really that. Well, maybe. I sighed and passed her her gin. Thank you. I'm surprised you were able... I'm surprised you were able to figure out I was faking. The bartender the other time thought I was a guy. Again. You can clearly see... That particular area of the body. Extraordinarily feminine clothing. There is no reason to believe that you're a guy. None. And I know somebody's gonna go crazy out there, but... Look at the character model. There is nothing to suggest anything other than this character being female. Come on now, really. The bartender the other time thought I was a guy. He must have been drunk. He probably wasn't paying attention to you, exactly. I saw the girl take a sip of the gin before wincing in pain and abruptly putting it back on the counter. Ah, that was awful. Can I have fruit cocktail instead? You just paid me for the gin. I can't give you a refund. Why? I don't like gin. You ordered it. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't have enough money for another cocktail. Can you please lower the price? I glanced over at, at a couple more peop couple at a couple more people who were waiting for me to attend them. Look, I have a lot of other things to do. I can't cater to your petty request. Yeah, really where to make that money, Theo? I really feel the pressure that, you know, you need this job and you can't imagine yourself anywhere else. <laughs> Fine, I'm leaving. The club figure jumped off the stool and quickly walked off. Good riddance. I didn't want to deal with her. I don't understand why she was acting so suspicious. I couldn't bother less about who she was. I couldn't even catch a glimpse of her face when she was here. Oh, she that reluctant to reveal anything about herself. Probably just thinking about this too much. I should just forget about her. Hmm? I looked at the place the girl was sitting at. Well, where are the pl I was just let me try that again. I looked at the place the girl was sitting and I realized she had left something. A hairband? It was a hairband shaped as a chrysanthemum flower. I wouldn't be surprised if that kid had forged that ID. And you broke the law for her anyway. Good going, man. Anyway, title screen! Another day at school. Just what I need to relieve me from relieve me from the stress I face at work. Only to be bombarded with statistics and a theory and the theory of demand and supply. Or supply and demand as it's usually called. I must have a really boring life. Theodore Uh oh, she's back. I have to run Theodore, are you running away from me? Stop calling me that. It's the Look at this dork. Oh my god. Oh wow. I expected him to look like a douche. I didn't expect it to be that douchey though. Now look at her eyes. Stop calling me that, it's Theo. Of course I know that. Calling you Theodore always catches your attention. Why does she have to know me so well? Does being friends with somebody for two years do that to someone? That's right, Karina. Oh, you're calling me Karina. You must be in a good mood today. Which sinks to the depth of Earth as soon as you showed up. Hey, at least I know what gets to her just as well. You were running away from me, weren't you? Yes, I was. Douche! What's wrong? What is wrong with you? You've been avoiding me for the past few days. Was I? Yes, you were. Are you sure? What is the 
point of this? I'm trying to stall you. I'm surprised that you can still be that blunt. Again, these characters are in college, they're technically adults. Just wanted to point that out. There's no shame in it. So are you going to spill or not? I've just been busy. With studying and many other commitments that I can't be I can't bother to list. Name at least two of those commitments. My job and my job. <laughs> Your sense of humor are so painful. Okay, that was a pretty good that was a pretty good that's some pretty good banter there, I'll give him that. Dialogue is pushing up a banter, yes. Did you just figure that out now? Good point. Maybe I expect too much from you. Was it? What is this illegal job? You, <laughs> hold on, let me read that again. What is this illegal job that you keep mentioning anyway? Illegal? I gave you that impression. What else do you expect me to think? You never specify what you work as. Half the time, I'm actually convinced that you're doing something illegal. I'm not that desperate for money. Look at his face. You, sir, are the king of dorks for Nano Reno. I doubt anybody's going to top you. Since you don't bother to ever tell me about your job, it shall be referred from now on as Theodore's illegal job. You've got to be kidding me. Fine, I'll just assume. I don't even. I guess this part is supposed to be deleted. Fine, I'll just have to assume that you sell drugs for now. That's all right by me. You're off the hook for now. Jeez, no need to give me those dagger eyes. It's just a job. I'm not stealing your prized jewelry set or anything. Ha ha. She rolled her eyes at my half-hearted attempt to humor her. I took this opportunity to slowly walk away. Wait, don't escape before I get to the point. She's gotten a lot more sharp. Yeah. Go back, re-edit. She's gotten a lot sharper lately. What? Tomorrow is a weekend and there aren't any classes for you. Unless your illegal job requires you to remain 24 or 7 on patrol, can you at least spare a few hours for me? Well... If you can come- if you come up with an excuse, it had better be a really good reason. We don't have too much studying to do across the weekend and your illegal job doesn't count as an excuse. She went through a lot of trouble to corner me. I guess I don't have a choice. <sighs> what is it? There's this new jewelry shop nearby that opened up. I hear there's also a cool fortune telling service there. Fortune telling? Do you really believe in that stuff? Well, it might be fun. I did not expect this from you. Oh, quit it, Theo. Not everybody can be as glum as you. I'm pretty sure you have some ulterior motive. I guess that's true. If this shop is a... If this shop is fortune teller theme, imagine all the cool stuff that can be found there. It would be like a one-of-a-kind collection. Well, I'm relieved that you're actually predictable. Maybe this shop is a ripoff. You can't be sure unless you find out. The shop is just is just nearby, so it won't take too much of your time. You can study and do your other work after that. I'm not so sure. This doesn't really seem to be my thing. <laughs> my God, that teardrop effect! <laughs> Come on, Theo. I rarely see you anymore. I'm not asking you to jump down a building. I'm asking for two. I'm just asking for two hours of your time. Excuse me. I'll try my best not to bore you. I just want to spend some time with you instead of having another study session. Oh no, she started it again. I know you're trying to guilt trip me, but you don't have to become a drama queen for that. Please, Theo, just this once. What's with her hand? What is she trying to- is she trying to mime something there? I might be called sadistic for this, but it did feel nice to have her beg for me. Yeah, that's a little- a little off. It's hard to get Rena to beg for anything. Uh, Alright, then maybe I could... Thank you so much! Come, let's go! Come on, let's go? I feel like I'm going to regret this. I don't understand why I give in to her pleading all the time. We're hit! Oh my god, what is this place? This is the shop you've been talking about? This looks awfully small. The shop also doesn't seem well maintained and I can't see much jewelry. In fact, I couldn't see a lot of things. At all. 
wait, I, don't, I can't speak English. Hold on, let me go back. In fact, I couldn't see a lot of things at all. It's more like a charity shop than a jewelry store. Knowing Rena, she couldn't come and visit such a small shop. It looks like we're intruding. In, it looks like we're intruding in someone's house. This somebody has a weird taste in decor too. Are you sure we're in the right place? I heard how small scale this shop is, but this? Is that a rat? No, it's a spider. I'll get it. A familiar co girl swooped into the scene and carefully handled the spider. She works here? I doubt she would she would choose to have a job at her age. Why is she still wearing that cloak? Say hello to our newest employee. She waved the insect in <laughs> She waved the insect in front of Rena, much to her disgust. <laughs> I'd rather not. The girl giggled and put the spider back inside of the jar. Ooh, it's you. That mean bartender who wouldn't give me a refund. I couldn't tell whether she was glad or annoyed about meeting me. I would say the latter. The only places where you'd ever get a refund is at the markets, not at a bar. Hmm. You couldn't even show mercy to a poor little girl like me. Wow. Theo, are you that heartless? What? Rena? Best moment to side against me, Rena. Can we please stop bringing up something that happened yesterday? Now it's your turn to serve us. I'll never forgive you for the cocktail disaster yesterday. I demand justice and independence. Too bad, you're not getting any. There's no use pouting about it. I, nobody talks like this, but it's funny. Again, the banter in the game is really good. It needs to be cleaned up a lot in the editing bay, but it's, it is good, I'll give him that. Way to crush a girl's dreams, Theo. Anyway, work, anyway, welcome to Ming Fortunes, where all the magic awaits. I apologize about that rude introduction just now. How, how may I help you? Wow. I did not expect that from her. She sounded like a child who had been practicing their lines for a drama. She made herself sound so enthusiastic. Why are you wearing a cloak? It's our uniform. To make this house of fortune seem like a more intimidating and mysterious place. We all dress up in ominous cloaks. Uh, it's not really that funny when you explain it. Isn't it an awesome idea? That's kind of... It's as if I needed more anonymity from this place. Are you the only person who works here? I'm the only one on shift for the next two hours. Until Ming has gone out to deal with something. I've heard you sell jewelry. Of course. What's a fortune teller shop without jewelry? None. Exactly. We're very unique. For those who couldn't bother less about fortune telling, which makes them wonder why they even came here, can they can purchase our one-of-a-kind jewelry. We sell a range of necklaces, bracelets, and earrings, all designed from colorful diamonds and pearls. Ooh, where is it? The cloak lady skipped over a rope hanging near a, ro a wall. With a pull, the ragged red curtain were where curtains were pulled to one side, which revealed a collection of sparkling necklaces and bracelets packed into a plastic case. Wow, I've never seen anything so shiny. It might just be a ripoff, you know. Even if the jewelry might look stunning, it might not be worth much. Who cares? It looks so cute. What an excellent marketing technique to trick naive girls like Karina. Rena ran off to the... And there goes my phone. Let me answer that and we will be back in the next episode. This is a good place to stop anything. Anyway, so yeah. Until the next episode.